Once your project time and expenses are routed and approved, they are ready to be billed to your client. As an integrated system, these time or expense entries are waiting to be placed onto an invoice and then moved along to your accounts receivable process. Let's take a quick look at this. We'll go back to our Project 360 screen. To see all the transactions posted against the project, I simply come to the Transactions tab and I can see it by labor or hours, expenses, items or things I may purchase for a project, fees and transactions such as change orders or perhaps setup charges or special fees, and of course on account what's been billed to date so far on the project, prepayments or milestone payments. To generate an invoice, I simply come up to Invoice Processing. Microsoft Dynamics AX will prepare a queue of everything that is ready for billing. These could be hours, expenses, or items. At the top of the screen, I can see what has been billed to date, what is expected to be billed on this current invoice. At any point in time, I can choose to remove any transactions. Perhaps I want to research it or it needs to be approved or looked at in a different way before being invoiced. I can simply unselect those transactions and my tables at the top will recalculate. When I'm ready, I simply create my invoice proposal, which is another name for a draft invoice. And let's take a quick look at that draft invoice. I can see I have a draft um, invoice number, the status, the different categories, how much I have in hours, expenses, and items. I can see my total invoice amount and any other receivable information such as discounts on my total screen. When I'm happy with this proposal, I could submit it to, any, to the project manager or any other manager that's involved. I can also prepare these nightly in batches and have them emailed directly out to the appropriate product manager. After the invoice has been posted, I can simply come into Invoice Detail and I'm able to see a history of all the invoices, payment status, and any other information I need to collect payment on this invoice.